how's it going, Ready Up Live? Let's take a look at a free for all Rockets game on Coliseum. Now, I, I, I do all right this game. I don't do too bad, but this is obviously not the best gameplay ever. Uh, honestly, I find it kind of hard to be an extremely good Rockets player. I mean, that's, you know, it's, it's an interesting game type in itself, and there's a lot of chance, a lot of spawning. Uh, honestly, the, I think the biggest issue with Free For All Rockets is that there's a radar. There should not be a radar in a game type like this. You know, I'm <laughs> it's a big radar debate for many game types right now, and I totally agree that this is one of those game types that does not need a radar because it just encourages camping. And that's not what you need in a game like Rockets. You want to be running and gunning, moving around. And you'll see that this game, there's quite a few times where I just get a camping spot and I hang out and I wait to see a radar come, wait to see a blip on the radar, and I fire. And the dude has, n has no chance, not a chance, because he's not ready for a rocket to his face. He doesn't have a, you know, he's not going to get hit and then come back at me and have a little, you know, typical Halo fight. This is Rockets. For the most part, on average, it's gonna be a one-hit kill. There's no chance to come back, unless you're like that and totally missed. It, it just messes you up. So you see on Coliseum, for instance, I like hanging around the back of the base here. I like hanging on this ramp, get a little bit of height, stay behind this wall, stay away from people. This is just kind of unfortunate right here. The fight is real, there we go. He killed himself, though, as it counts. And honestly, oh, man, there's nothing worse in Rockets than killing yourself. And you look at the scoreboard and you go, oh, man, I would have won the game now had I not killed myself two times. And yet, oddly enough, I find quite often some of the best players have a couple suicides because they're running in. They're running and gunning. They're just getting those Rockets off and unfortunately committing suicide in the process. But you'll see right here, like, this is a perfect example of me just just camping it it really really works and I, you know i don't want to be that guy but in a game like rockets if you're just constantly a moving target and way in the open all the time you're not gonna win that's not the way to win free for all rockets when you have radar and again radar just encourages this i would be relatively screwed i mean you could still kind of do it but nowhere near the same the same effectiveness as having a radar it's kind of it's kind of not okay and then also, why is this ranked? You know, 343 went all in on ranking. Everything is ranked. Big team is ranked. All this stuff is ranked. That's, that's not the way it should be. We really need social playlists to happen, and I hope that happens soon. Because things like this should not be ranked. This is Rockets. Like, really? Who's, who's getting all sweaty and try hard in a game of Rockets? It's not, it's, it shouldn't be a thing. And having ranks, you know, just encourages that, encourages people to to be like me and, and to camp as much as I do. Fathom uh, in the tree houses is just some solid camping. I was going to upload that gameplay until I realized I was just camping that, that whole game. You know, no, no shame because you give me these tools, I'm going to use them. You give me that radar, I want to come first place, I want to win. I actually got Onyx, which I imagine a lot of people did get Onyx in, in this because it's 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 not that bad. I won most of my games. Not all of them, but most of them. I got wrecked one game. But the rest of them I did I did pretty well. I usually came first or you know at least top four. But I'm really excited about these weekend playlists. I just can't wait to have some more variety. Unfortunately I didn't get to play team doubles. I was away. I was doing a Rebo Six Siege thing. Unfortunately, I really wish I got the chance to do that. It sounded like so much fun, but I honestly hope doubles becomes a permanent playlist. It really belongs in Halo. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Everyone told me it was really fun. People really liked it. So I'm excited to give it a try if it ever comes back. And that's the thing about this this voting system we have going on here for the weekend playlist is that the new one is always going to win. No matter how great doubles is or shoddy snipers or CTF. When you present a new item, when you present something like, you know, Team Rockets and something else interesting and new, that's going to win because people want to try that new stuff. I know personally, I'm all about that. Like, I so quickly will vote for a new thing rather than a rehash thing we've already played. I just really hope for some new stuff. And I really, 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 really hope that when Forge comes out, there will also be more game types. Now, for me... I personally believe that most of the best game types ever made in the history of the Halo franchise were zombie variants. 
And that's not to say they were necessarily typical infection games, but the infection game mode allowed people to create these amazing game types. There was just some some amazing stuff. And right now, as it stands, there is no juggernaut style game. There's no one versus the world game type on Halo 5. It has to be either free for all or teams. So hopefully those kind of game types will be present when the Forge update comes. Like, it needs to happen. Otherwise, we're going to be... Like, I've been looking through custom games lately. I'm just like, hey, what can I create that's interesting? And there really isn't that much you can do because of the team system. You know, it's props to 343 for at least, you know, focusing, but they, they put all their eggs in one basket with making Halo 5, you know, ultra competitive. At least they made it work, right? Like, and that's... And that's you know, you can only complain so much when, honestly, Halo 5 is an incredible Halo game. Like, it really, really is one of my favorite Halo games ever made. I, I, I'm having such a blast with it, and, you know, I crave more. It's not a, it's not as much of a negative, oh, you know, I wish there was more stuff. Because, you know, I do. I wish there were more game types and more maps and stuff like that. But it's more of a longing. It's more of a need. That's a good double kill. I need more. That was a good triple kill. I need more maps. And it's funny talking to people about that and making them realize that, that it's it, it's not out of, oh man, I want this game to have more in the negative sense. Again, it's just, I need more. I can't get enough of Halo 5. I need some more game types. I need some more maps. I'm really excited for that. I need some more big team maps. I need some more Warzone maps. Like Honestly, those are the big ones for me. I really want to try some new stuff out there. And you know what? I really hope they listen to some community cartographers and big players in the map making game and maybe take some votes like they've they've kind of done a similar thing in the past just to put more permanent awesome forge maps into the rotations i'm all down for more and more maps just available you know it's halo reach is a bad example and people you know kind of think about that when they think of having forge maps and matchmaking because there were so many dull dreary gray primitive maps that you just got so sick of Forge. But I find Halo 5 does a very, very good job of making you like Forge maps. Big Team Battle, obviously, is, is the best way to, to play those Forge maps right now. And I think all of them are pretty solid. I didn't really like Standoff in Halo 3, but I love it in Halo 5. I have a blast with it in Halo 5. And the new uh, Valhalla-inspired map is great. It's my favorite of the bunch. I have an absolute blast on it every time. Great for CTF, great for big team, great for strongholds. So if we get a bunch of creators together and have a voting system of some sort, maybe on the, you know, the Halo Waypoint forums or something, I just want more. And that's the thing. Once again, it's a good thing. I want more. I'd love to have 10, 20 new incredible maps made by the community implemented into the game, implemented into playlists, so that while I'm playing, we'll play this one that everybody agrees is a great, great map. And I hope they continue listening to feedback about maps we don't like. Like, you know, for instance, Orion. A lot of people didn't like Orion. I'm glad they pretty much took it out because it's it just didn't really work, right? It had some spawn issues and stuff like that. So, you know, moving forward, I just want more. I'm just excited to have a lot more maps, to have game modes. Oh, and it, it almost scares me that they're not talking about it. I really hope they surprise us and go, oh, by the way, here are all of the game modes that are missing. You know, here's Oddball, here's Juggernaut, here's Infection. I need them. I need them in my life. They've got to come. <laughs> There's going to be so much limitation to Forge without having all those game types. So we'll see what happens, but let's go for this final kill. Bam! First place again, you see, like the, the radar just promotes camping. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. It's been a while since I did a commentary. Be sure to leave a comment below if you want more of these, and I can crank out tons more commentaries. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next video.